Line 28, the score is tied. In line 28, they're introducing us to a symbol called a tie. We've probably seen a tie before, but just to cover it again, a tie combines two notes of the same pitch. It's a curved line. It's not quite the same thing as a slur, because a slur connects two notes of different pitch, but a tie connects the two notes of the same pitch. It basically combines them into one note. So if you look at the blue shaded notes in line 28A, you'll see that those are a half note tied to a half note. That's going to sound just like a whole note would sound. Four beats of sound, two plus two, two half notes combined. Let's clap and count it. There is a repeat sign at the end. One, two, 28A, go. One, two, one, two, one, one. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, 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 two, one, two, one, two, one, two. All right, let's go ahead and name the notes in position. Ready? Uh, since there's a repeat sign, let's go ahead and name the notes the first time, and on the repeat, we'll fog. I'll play, you fog. One, two, name it. E flat, B flat, D, C, F, D, E flat, D, C. count this one. One, two, ready, go. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one. You'll notice that the whole rest in measure two only gets two beats. Whole rests we are funny because they take up a whole measure. Since it's two four time, it's two beats. If it was three four time, it'd be three beats. And if it were four four time, of course, it'd be four beats. Let's name these notes. On the repeat, we'll fog. Ready, name, set, and go. C. C, D, E flat, C, D, B flat, B flat, B flat, C. Alright, and now we'll play it twice. 